Okay, guys, um, I'll just give you a bit of an update on where we're at with the axe. So, what I'm actually doing um, is continuing my quad draw, and, and how I've done this actually is that I've separated the two. So, you can see that um, uh, I'm modeling, I'm, I'm, I'm making a low poly version of the blade, and I've made a low poly version of the. Uh, uh, the, the wooden handle as well and I've separated those two. The reason I've done that is because I'm thinking about what the final textures will be. Obviously these are two different objects almost and when it comes to texturing um, I want to keep them separate so I can texture them separately and then um, put them together afterwards. Um, I'm going to just show you a few more techniques when it comes to quad drawing um, and retopologizing your uh, advanced models and making them uh, more low poly and it is a bit of a mathematical challenge thinking about where you should place uh, vectors to um, uh, then add in your your faces uh, the way I've gone about this is that I'm actually um, trying to think about edge loops throughout and place them I've, I've actually gone through and I've just clicked roughly where I think the vertex or the vertices should be. Uh, the benefit of doing it this way is that you can kind of map out roughly where they should be and then you can just go along and add them in. Oops. So let's just have a quick look at what's gone on there. So if I hold down shift now and just click, hold down shift and click, shift and click, and I'm just going along and getting them where I want. Okay, so you can see that that side of the blade is coming together. Next right, so click. Now obviously you're going to have to tidy this up a little bit and get it how you want. You're starting to see it come together. Now I need to figure out where the kind of middle line is going to be. And I need to figure out how I'm going to sort of blend it into this middle shape. Um, but that will be easy to do by um, continuing this method of drawing in the, um, the faces. So in uh, the next video what I'll do is show you the finished quad drawn um, piece. Uh, two objects, I'll, I'll have them on separate layers and I'll show you how to bake the textures from the high poly onto the low poly.